Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how you can resolve the fail to start a job flow due to an internal error in Amazon EMR. Let's get started. This error occurs when cluster nodes time out during launch because Amazon EMR couldn't communicate with other services. An intermittent issue on Amazon EMR service side can cause this error so retrying the cluster launch helps to resolve an intermediate failure. But if this isn't an intermediate issue, check the last state change reason for Amazon EMR nodes. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EMR Console. Navigate to the Hardware tab for your cluster on the Amazon EMR Console. Choose the error next to each instance group to show additional information. Check the last date change reason. If the reason is error provisioning instances, confirm the cluster is configured correctly in terms of Amazon EMR roles, security groups, and subnet configuration. Check if Amazon EMR service role, Amazon EMR instance profile role, and Amazon EMR auto scaling role have their respective default managed policies attached. For more information, see the documentation displayed on the screen. Check the inbound and outbound roles in the core and test security groups used in your Amazon EMR cluster and see if they are as explained in this AWS documentation. Amazon EMR clusters in a public subnet need an internet gateway to connect to other AWS resources such as an S3 bucket. If your cluster is launched in a public subnet, verify that the subnet has internet access so it can reach other AWS services. To launch clusters in a private subnet, a NAT gateway is needed so that your Amazon EMR cluster can reach other AWS services. If you don't want a NAT gateway in private subnet, the minimum requirements to launch an Amazon EMR cluster in a private subnet are listed in the following AWS document under section Private Subnet. After correcting any issues with Amazon EMR roles, security groups, or VPC subnets, try relaunching the cluster. The cluster should launch successfully. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.